What I like about the Berluti knot is that it is probably the strongest of the double knots here, uh, even stronger than the Parisian knot. So you're going to never have to worry about your shoes coming untied. Another thing that I like about the Berluti knot is it actually lies flatter than the Parisian knot itself also. So it's a little bit more symmetric. It lies a little bit flatter. Uh, it's a more difficult knot to tie. Uh, but if you can really learn how to do this, I think it's a knot well worth learning. Now, the Baluti knot is such an effective knot, you really just need to uh, twist your laces once. And then what you're gonna do is you're gonna form two bunny ears, okay? One in your left hand and one in your right hand. You're gonna take the bunny ear in your left hand and take it over the right, right? And you see I've got these kind of over one another. And then this is the tricky part. You take the right bunny ear with the end to the left lace, to the left bunny ear, and then you just take all of this and you just kind of have to push it through that hole and pull it through, right? So I've literally taken all of that and wrapped it through the hole. Then I'm left with the left bunny ear, which is on the right side, and then the end, the other end, and I'm gonna take all of this, and again, you just kinda grab it all together, and then you just take it with your finger, and you're pushing it through the hole, right? So if you look at the knot like this before you tie it together, you can really see why this is such a strong knot. I mean, you've got things looped all over in here. So now, in order to tighten this, pull, just pull through the bunny ears, and as you can see, it just cinches down perfectly tightly. You've got two parallel loops. And what I like about this relative to the Parisian knot is it sits a little bit closer to uh, the actual vamp or the laces, uh, and it does a better job centering itself. Sometimes with the Parisian knot, it kind of is offset one side or the other, and you really can't fix that. But with the Berluti knot, it's easy to get it to be perfectly flat down uh, and it really looks smart. Uh, and again, you know, as with any type of advanced shoelace knot, it's all in the subtlety. Again, you know, very few people will ever notice that you tied your lace differently than they did that morning, but you know you did. And it's just that extra five to 10% that really just differentiates um, you from everyone else. So let's do this again. So in order to untie this, you have to pull with both laces. It comes undone quite easily, okay? So I've got two bunny ears here, right? I've got the bunny ear on my left hand and the bunny ear on my right hand. I'm gonna take the left bunny ear over the right, and then on my right hand, I'm gonna kind of pinch those two together where they intersect, right? <clears throat> and then I'm gonna take the everything on the left side and basically just push that through the center of that knot in the hole. And this is kind of the most difficult, awkward part. But anyway, you just pull it all through, right? And then as you can see, it's all through that knot. And then everything that's left on the right, just grab it all together and then just thread it back through that hole. And there we go. And then just pull it tight, just pull on the bunny ears, right? So don't pull on the actual lace ends, pull on the bunny ears and it comes right down. Okay, so let's do this one more time. So I'm gonna loosen the knot. You've got your two bunny ears, the bunny ear on the left side with your left hand and the bunny ear on the right side on your right hand. So you're gonna take your left over your right and then kind of pinch the two with your right hand where they intersect. And then you're taking everything on the left side and you're just pushing it through the center of that knot where that hole is and you just thread that through, okay? There's really no secret to doing that. And then you take everything that's on the right side and you're just going to push it all the way through, back that through that hole, okay? And then you kind of see how everything's threaded through. Again, I think this is a great example of kind of really illustrating why this is such a strong, durable knot is because look at how everything's twisted around. Now this is the secret. So at this point, you're not gonna pull everything. Instead, let go of the lace ends and just pull the bunny ears tight and you get a perfect Berluti knot.